अनुसंधान और गुजरात इंटीग्रेटेड क्लासरूम सैटेलाइट ना माध्यम थी जोड़ती कड़ी इतले संधान नमस्कार विद्यार्थी मित्रों अमे आजे फरी थी वनस्पति शास्त्र इतले के बॉटनी विषय ने लाई ने अपनी समक्ष उपस्थित थे आज ये बाइसेग ना संधान कार्यक्रम अनुसार विविध विषयों ने आवरी लेता कार्यक्रम हो रजू थाई चे तेमा अगाव अम्मे पर एक अगाव ना मणका मा आपनी समक्ष उपस्थित थाय हाता हूँ मारो परिचय आप ही दूँ हूँ कल्पेश अंजारिया पिटलाद नी आरके परिकार्ट्स एंड साइंस कॉलेज मा अध्यापक चु अने आजे मारी साथे फरी थी उपस्थित चे डॉक्टर एएस रेडी सर के जो वल्लभ विद्यानगर खाते आवेली सरदार पटेल यूनिवर्सिटी ना बायोसाइंसेस विभाग मा प्रोफेसर तरीके कार्यरत चे ते वो गुजरात ना एक ख्यातनाम वनस्पति शास्त्री अने खास करीने बायोसिस्टेमेटिक्स मा ते वो उन्डू ज्ञान धरावे चे आजे फरी थी आपडे इम्ना ज्ञान नो लाभ लेवानो चे मारु जे कार्य रहेशे खास करीने अमारु आ व्याख्यान इवी रितनो चे के जे मा आपडे रेडी सर ने किडलाक प्रश्नो पुच्छु अने ए जे कहीं आपन ने विस्तृत माहिती आपी रहा है शे ते मा हूँ गुजराती माध्यम ना विद्यार्थियों ने खास करीने लाभ थाए ए हेतु थी इनो भावानुवाद अथवा तो भाषानुवाद करवानु हूँ प्रयत्न करेश आपने जनाऊँ के अगाऊ अमे 25 सितंबरे प्लांट सिस्टेमेटिक्स ना मथाड़ा हेठोर कितली वातो करवा आपने समक्ष उपस्थित थाया हाता आजे एज मारखावा अमे फरी पाचा आपने समक्ष उपस्थित थाया हाता आपने वो थोड़ो गियाद करा विदो विद्यार्थी मित्रों के आ एज मारखाने आपने आगर ले जावो चे ते मा अगाऊ रेडी सर पासे थी आपने वनस्पति शास्त्रनी जैविक विविधताओ विषय ऊपर घनी बदी माहितियों प्राप्त करी हती वनस्पति ने विविध जातियों कई रीते एक बीजा मा विविधता धरावे छे इनी माहिती आपने रेडी सर पासे थी मेड़ोता मेड़ोता इना कितना क वर्गी करण ना पासा होने आपने स्पर्श आता कि जे मा विविध वनस्पतियों ने अलग अलग विभाग मा नाना नाना जूत मा आपने वहें चाहता जिन्हें आपने क्लासिफिकेशन तरीके ओढ़खा भी होतु अने एक क्लासिफिकेशन तरीके ओढ़खा हुआ मा आपने अंते छेले स्पीशीज प्लांट स्पीशीज सुधी आपने पहुंच जाता तो तमारी आसपास आपने आसपास इतनी बड़ी वनस्पतियों उगे चे सो एक दरेक ने नाम होए जो नाम आप वामा आउतु होए तो ये वनस्पतियों नाम कौन आपतु होशे ये वनस्पतियों ने नाम आप वाना कोई सु नियम होचे जीवा प्रश्नों मने मन में उत्पन्न था या चे जिनी माहिती आजे हूँ रेडी सर पासे थी मुक मेरा उसो आपडे अने हूँ ये जेम माहिती आपता जशे ये मगाऊ में आपने कहू तेम वच्चे वच्चे भावानुवाद अथवा तो भाषानुवाद हूँ गुजराती माध्यम ना खास करीने विद्यार्थियों माटे हूँ करतो रहिस इमनी अंग्रेजी में अपन जो के सही ली बो सरल चे इटले दरेक माध्यम ना विद्यार्थियों ने इनो लाभ अचक अचुक मरवानो चे पर अत्यारे आपडी आ मणकानी व्याख्यान मारा मा हूँ मारा किलाक प्रश्नो थी रेडीशर ने आ मणकानी अंदर हूँ जोड� नमस्कार रेडी सर आपनो खूब खूब स्वागत चे वंस अगेन आई वेलकम टू दिस बाइसेक संधान आई वुड लाइक टू आस्क ऑन बिहाफ ऑफ द स्टूडेंट्स दैट हु असाइन द नेम्स टू दिस डिफरेंट प्लांट्स एंड व्हाट बेसिस दे डू एंड माय सेकंड क्वेश्चन इट दैट हाउ आर ऑल दी रूल्स एंड रेगुलेशंस ऑफ that uh, I will, I may interrupt you That's that uh, for that uh, students may learn in Gujarati language. That's so I request that what are the things, what sure. are the nomenclature, kindly tell us. Sure. Yes, dear student friends, as uh, we discussed in the previous class that uh, it has become very clear for us there is a great diversity of plants. And all these plants are classified into different groups. And these groups are called as, uh, you know, taxonomic groups. And these groups are arranged in a, uh, a particular hierarchy. And that arrangement is called as a plant uh, uh, hierarchy, taxonomic hierarchy. And uh, in this hierarchy, the species is the basic unit. Above the species, 
species rank, there are several, like genus rank, family rank, class rank, like that. And below the species also, there are ranks, like maybe subspecies, the variety, etc. As I said that, from the top rank to the bottom rank, yes, there are several ranks. And uh, the basic unit is, uh, the basic unit of the taxonomy is species. As you know all that, for each species there is a name, that is the universal name, that uh, what you call it uh, scientific name, also this is known as a botanical name, species name. Each name, each species name has got two words name, that is uh, the scientific species name, binomial nomenclature, binomial name. And this is, uh, yes, uh, all of we regard Linnaeus, great Linnaeus, who has constantly followed and uh, who has uh, uh, um, started and uh, um, familiarized this name. Uh, binomial nomenclature and uh, since then yes definitely all the species are assigned with a name and that name is universal to throughout the world and uh, naturally each species will be named by anyone who are interested in uh, who are dealing with the subject so there may be chances that the same species may be given two names by different uh, scientists by different uh, botanists so there may be situation that the same name for the same species there will be n number of the names so in order to avoid such type of confu confusions and uh, confusions yes there are rules and regulations are formed and at the international level the botanical congress will govern this under a specific uh, code and you can just uh, see on this uh, slide yes uh, the questions yes two basic questions will come up who assigns names to these uh, to different plants and the plant groups and on what basis they do and the second question comes that how all these rules and the regulations are governed yes now if you see this international botanical congress is the agency which is responsible for that for every six years this congress will meet and last recent congress it was held at melbourne australia july 2011 and the next one will be meeting in Shenzhen, China, in July 2017. Yes. In each Congress, there is a session, International Code of Nomenclature for the Plants, and that is also called as ICBN. Earlier, it was known as International Code of Botanical Nomenclature. Now, it is known as International Code of Nomenclature for Algae, Fungi, and Plants. And this code will govern these rules and uh, all these uh, nomenclature rules and regulations are governed with the basic three things one is the principle and the second one is the rules and the recommendations and uh, the third one is uh, the provisions for governance of the code these are the three major uh, parts the first one is the uh, principles in fact you know every almost uh, every rule and uh, rules every rule is uh, comprehensively included in these uh, principles when you say the second one, the rule, the rules and regulation uh, uh, recommendations, rules are to be essentially followed. And whereas the recommendations, yes, it is uh, uh, advised to follow. It is not uh, very essential to follow. Yes, it is a recommendation to be followed, right? And these things, the rules and regulations are uh, described in this uh, uh, code in the in the form of nine chapters and the 62 articles. And the third one, there are uh, several uh, provisions provided in the code so as to govern this code. So, Vidyarthi Mitro, uh, ready sir, apne samjai vira chhe ke jem jem vanaspatiyo ni vividita chhe ane darek nu naam karan bau jaruri chhe ane e naam karan apwa maati ni ek chokas sanstha chhe ane e sanstha International Botanical Congress ke jena dvara abadu sanchalan thai chhe ane je antargat કેટલાક નિયમો સિદ્ધાંતો રજૂ કરાયા છે અને એ સિદ્ધાંતોના આધાર ઉપર દરેક વૈજ્ઞાનિક એ વિશ્વના કોઈ પણ જગ્યાએ રહેતો હોય એ પોતે એના નિયમોના આધારે એના સિદ્ધાંતોને પાલન કરીને એ વનસ્પતિને પોતે નામ આપતો હોય છે રેડીસરે હમણાં જેમ કહ્યું એમ તેના માટે કુલ છ પ્રિન્સિપલ્સ છે એટલે કે સિદ્ધાંતો છે કેટલાક રૂલ્સ છે અને કેટલાક રેકમેન્ડેશન્સ છે અને ત્રીજો પાર્ટ છે એ એ બંનેને સપોર્ટ કરે છે એટલે આ ત્રણ મુખ્ય વિભાગોમાં વર્ગીકૃત કરી અને આખું આનું વૈજ્ઞાનિક નામકરણનું સંચાલન થાય છે રેડીસરને આપણે પૂછીએ કે આ પ્રિન્સિપલ્સ જે છે 
એ કુલ કેટલા છે જેમ આપણે જાણ્યું કે કુલ છ પ્રિન્સિપલ્સ છે અને એ સાહેબે કહ્યું એ પ્રમાણે એના રૂલ્સ પણ એની સાથે ઇન્કોર્પોરેટ થયેલા છે તો એ રૂલ્સને અને પ્રિન્સિપલ્સને આપણે એક પછી એક જાણતા જઈએ કે એવા તે કયા નિયમો છે સિદ્ધાંતો છે કે જેના આધારે કોઈ વ્યક્તિને કોઈ વનસ્પતિને નામ આપવું હોય અને તે પણ વૈજ્ઞાનિક નામ આપવું હોય કે જે સર્વવ્યાપક અને સર્વમાન્ય હોય તો આવા નિયમોને સિદ્ધાંતોને આપણે એક પછી એક જાણીએ મે આઈ હેવ યોર એટેન્શન ટુવર્ડ્સ ધીસ વન સો કાઇન્ડલી ટેલ અસ દેટ વાય ઇટ ઇઝ different rules and regulations right. and how they are governed all right let us see the each principle separately uh, these are all called the principles of icn now otherwise you know i kept specifically b in the bracket because earlier it was known as i said that icbn international code of botanical nomenclature now it is known as international code of nomenclature for plants algae and now see the principle number 1 what it states that botanical nomenclature is independent of zoological nomenclature yes that means uh, even the code equally applies to the names of taxonomic groups treated as plants whether or not these groups were originally assigned to the plant kingdom the meaning of this uh, principle is that see there are different species in plants there are different species in animals uh when we give a particular name to any plant group yes we follow the names or the rules f- formulated for this botanical kingdom similarly for the zoological kingdom also there are rules there are several articles etc but that zoological nomenclature is uh, totally independent of this botanical nomenclature for example if you see the slide there are certain cases where the say that there are certain animals which are given certain names and the same na- names are also used for the plants like see this the first example is that morus when you say the morus it is the genus name of the mulberry plant genus name morus and the same morus is also assigned to a, an animal group a bird it is a garnet that means yes according to the rules yes Uh, in, in the next principles or in the further uh, rules you will be uh, very clear that once a particular plant is assigned with a name the same name should not be given to any other plant in the entire plant kingdom but the same name can be given to an animal because those rules are separate and those uh, uh, regulations are separate so this is one example that is the reason why it is said that the botanical nomenclature is independent of zoological nomenclature yes similarly the second example you see the ficus ficus is the name of the genus in the plant kingdom it is a it indicates the genus that is the taxonomic group and the same ficus is also given to one gastro gastropod so that is gastropod is an animal so that is the case and similarly for some protists both the names are commonly given by the zoologists and uh, uh, botanists to eno matlab thayo ke botanical nomenclature siddhant number 1 evo ke che ke vanaspati shastra dwara athwa vanaspati ne je namkaran apay che ane praniyo ne je namkaran apay che banne swatantra che ane bahu sundar udaharan ape raju karyu ke jema apne jene apne setur tarike odakhiye che e morus genus jene apne apie che e j morus genus ek pakshi ne pan apayu che have ahi vanaspati ane pakshi ele prani e banne juda padya che mate aa morus banne jagyaye સરખું માન્ય ગણાવ્યું છે અને એવી જ રીતે જેને આપણે ફાઇકસની વિવિધ જાતિઓ કહીએ છીએ એ ફાઇકસ પણ એક ગેસ્ટ્રોપોડ નામનું પ્રાણી છે એને આપી શકાયું પણ હા આપે જેમ કહ્યું એમ એક ને એક વનસ્પતિ આખા પ્રાણી વનસ્પતિ જગતની અંદર એકનું એક નામ અલગ જગ્યાએ અલગ વનસ્પતિને અપાતું નથી પણ એ નામ પ્રાણીશાસ્ત્રના કોઈ પણ પ્રાણીશાસ્ત્રીઓ કોઈ પણ પ્રાણીને આપી શકે છે બરાબર છે એટલે એ વનસ્પતિ શાસ્ત્રમાં રિપીટ ન થવું જોઈએ પણ એ પ્રાણીશાસ્ત્રમાં રિપીટ થયું હોય તો આપણે એને માન્ય ગણ્યું છે અને એ જ રીતે કદાચ પ્રાણીશાસ્ત્રીઓએ પણ એને માન્ય ગણ્યું હશે તો પહેલો સિદ્ધાંત બહુ સુંદર રજૂઆત કરે છે બીજો સિદ્ધાંત શું કહે છે રાઈટ ધ પ્રિન્સિપલ નંબર ટુ સે the application of the names of taxonomic groups is determined by means of nomenclature types as we have just discussed that it is not only the species have got the name 
even the genus also has got a name genera do have names family it, it is a name for example when you say anonesi it is the name of a family when you say anona it is the name of a genus when you say anona squamosa it is the name of a species so all the taxonomic groups have got a name only one name that is a specific very specific name and once a name is given to any plant group any plant group whether it is a uh, uh, of species rank or the genus rank or the family rank and the same name cannot be repeated anywhere in the plant kingdom so when you are giving a particular name to a plant group and that name should be based upon some nomenclature that means some basis and that basis is called as nomenclatural type so in short again in precise the application of the names of the taxonomic groups is determined by means of nomenclatural types yes siddhant number b evu ke che ke darek kaksha jem sahib e baat kari darek kaksha ma je kai naam apayu che have e naam bije kai apatu nathi ane e je naam apay che e naam pan ek chokkas aadhar par apay che jene apde ene nomenclatural type tarike apde have varnan karvano che apde have janiye sar pase thi ke nomenclatural type shu che અને ટાઈપિફિકેશન એ કેવી રીતે કરાય છે કે જેથી નામકરણનું કોઈક સિદ્ધાંત આપણે કંઈક લગાડવાનો છે તો એ સિદ્ધાંત કઈ રીતે કાર્ય કરશે અને એના અલગ અલગ પાસાઓ છે જે ટાઈપિફિકેશન તરીકે આપણે ઓળખીએ છીએ એ પાસાઓને આપણે રીડીસર પાસેથી જાણીએ સર કેન યુ ટેલસ ધર વોટ આર ધ નોમેન્ટલેચરલ ટાઈપ્સ એન્ડ વોટ ઇઝ ટાઈપિફિકેશન સર્ટનલી યસ એઝ અ સેટ દેટ ફર ઈચ નેમ દેર શુડ બી એ બેસિસ એન્ડ દેટ બેસિસ ઇઝ નથિંગ બટ કોલ્ડ એઝ અ ટાઈપ એન્ડ વેન યુ આર એસેટાઈનિંગ એસેટાઈનિંગ સર્ટન ટાઈપ that that is called as that process is called as typification now let us see the nomenclatural type the definition of the nomenclatural type as for this icn code is that it is that constituent element of a taxon to which the name is permanently attached whether as a correct name or as a synonym yes i will